tracking app, which basically tells you whether the flight's early or whether it's late. Um, we have a map, interactive map, that shows you the basic flight path, where the plane is, some weather. Okay. Um, on each flight, you can look at uh, more information about the individual airports, like whether or not they're expecting delays, the, work, the weather forecast for the next few days. Um, various information like aircraft and baggage. I think the main thing though is just that uh, it's one simple interface for all the different airlines and airports. Okay. So whether you're flying on some obscure Scandinavian air airline or Delta, it's all the same thing. You have like 1,400 airlines and uh, 4, 000, about 4,000 airports in our database. So. And how does how do you enter in your information? Like I'm flying to San Francisco on Monday or something. So you add the flight. You can either add the flight number with the airline and flight number, okay. or you can do it by route. So is there some place you're flying? Are you flying from San Francisco somewhere? Yeah. Or there? So we know that San Francisco's SFO. Uh, you where are you flying to? Uh, FLL. So this area. FLL. LL. Fort Lauderdale, yeah. And uh, what's the date you're flying on? Uh, on the 21st. But it's called Dock Alert. So then here are all the flights from San Francisco to Fort Lauderdale oh, okay. on the 21st. And you just select which one you're on. And yep. So you're on the, are you on the JetBlue or the Virgin? Or the JetBlue. So then you save that flight and it goes onto your list of flights here. And it'll send you notifications when the flights, if the flight becomes delayed, if the flight's early. It'll send you notifications if the gate changes. Okay. So. How much does this app cost? Uh, Four ninety nine. Okay. And it's available worldwide or just in the U.S.? Uh, it's available worldwide. Okay. As worldwide as the Android market is. I mean, it's, all, it's available on iPhone. Um, there's a few different languages on iPhone. On Android, we only have English so far. And the Android market's a little weird in where you can buy it. Yeah, the apps. It's, certain. it's limited to certain countries. Okay. But it, it's as worldwide as we can get it. Okay. So. <laughs>